Hey guys, and welcome back to The Gerbil Vine. Thank you so much for being here, for tuning into the channel, and for supporting what the gerbils and I are doing here on YouTube. If you're new here, my name is Bex and I live in Ontario, Canada. I have two gerbils named Jerry and Dusk, and I make videos on good gerbil care in hopes of spreading around good information. I only want the best for my gerbils and I'm sure that you all do too. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you get notified when we upload our new video every week. So it's likely that I'm going to turn today's video into some sort of mini-series um, because when I was looking I did find that there were quite a few listings for gerbils on Kijiji in Canada. I have a feeling that many of these gerbils were purchased on impulse, um, possibly due to the pandemic, and now owners are likely starting to realize that they don't want to or they don't have enough time or they are unable to continue caring for these wonderful small creatures which is heartbreaking to me and I'm sure to you guys too. Um, in my opinion, pets are a lifelong commitment. If I bring an animal into this home, um, they're simply not leaving. <laughs> that being said, I do recognize that there are some unfortunate or unforeseen events that can happen and some owners may be left with no choice but to rehome their gerbils. Now, I was going to do just um, gerbils on Kijiji in Ontario. However, I decided to broaden my search to incorporate all of Canada um, because if I'm being honest, there just wasn't a ton of listings for gerbils in Ontario and I thought it could be quite interesting to see how people in other parts of my country are keeping their gerbils. As you can probably tell from the title of this video, this mini-series will be reacting to Kijiji gerbil ads. Now for those of you who don't know, Kijiji is owned by eBay and it is used in over 100 cities in Canada as like a buy and sell type of network. So many people use Kijiji to buy and sell animals and it's actually how I found um, my gerbils breeder through her ad on Kijiji. Unfortunately, not every pet ad is a good one. Some people really do want the best for their pet and I have nothing but respect and appreciation for those people. So without waiting any longer, let's burrow into today's video. So the first ad that we're going to be reacting to is this one. So it says here, gerbils with enclosures and accessories, $85, and this seller is from Calgary, Alberta. Oh my god, they are so cute. Two female gerbils purchased approximately one year ago with the enclosure and all accessories as seen in photos. Paid over $300 for everything. We'll throw in any leftover food we have too. Gerbils are playful and friendly. We have a puppy now. So I guess that means that you don't have any more time for your gerbils because you now have a puppy. Um, there's no reason that you can't have all of these pets and that you can't dedicate 20 minutes out of your day to go in and check on your gerbils and make sure everything's okay. That to me just seems absurd and I really despise when people get a new pet or a baby and they feel like their old pet has to be forced out and they have to choose between one or the other. So as you can see, these gerbils are absolutely adorable. Um, and then we have their habitat here. So it looks like it is a 10 gallon tank with a topper. So it looks like they just have some sort of wood bedding in the bottom there. It doesn't look like they have any sort of paper mixed in there or any type of hay. Um, and there should be a ramp that goes down from the topper into the bottom level. However, I'm not too sure where that went. So it looks like they replaced it with some sort of like purple mesh ramp thingy, um, which is a big no-no for gerbils, along with the mesh wheel that they have in there. That is just so bad. Um, so gerbils' little feet and their tail can actually get stuck in the grids of the metal wheel, and it's just something that experienced and um, educated gerbil owners just know to stay away from and not to put in your tank. Um, so this house is unfortunately too small. A 10 gallon aquarium is too small for a pair of gerbils and they unfortunately have two gerbils. Um, it also is quite sad to think that these owners had these gerbils living in there for a year. So they were putting in the work and the effort and the time with these pets for the past year and just because they got a new puppy, they thought that they are unable to keep the gerbils anymore. Um, so that really sucks. So moving on to our next home, our next one is an ad. <laughs> in Chatham, Ontario, and it's an ad for seven gerbils for $200. So 
So if we look at the ad, it says, I have four females and three males. They come with their cages. I want $200 or a best offer. I have three brown females and one gray one, and I think she is pregnant, and I have three black males. Just message me if you're interested. So it seems like the seller has a lot going on. I don't know if this is some sort of um, breeding type of situation where this person intentionally breeds their gerbils. However, it says here that they think one might be pregnant, so this may be some sort of accidental litter type of situation. Um, so if we look in the photos here, Oh, they're cute. I love gerbils that have squirrel colors. Honestly, I just think they're so cute. They look like little brown angels. Um, so it looks like these gerbils are in a habit trail based on the orange plasticky uh, look of the container, which would be a really unsuitable home for your gerbils to live in. Um, and then it looks like they've got the males over here in a separate cage. So the males, which generally are more easygoing and easier um, to get along with, in a bigger space. Um, and the males actually do look quite young. It might just be the photo here, but like that one at the bottom almost looks quite babyish. Um, so none of those homes are suitable for the gerbils. Um, I don't know if this owner is just breeding the gerbils and then wants to get rid of them, but it seems like they're selling the entire lot and they want $200. I do hope that somebody gets them and rescues them and doesn't let them live in these plastic enclosures anymore. Also, can I just say that black habitat right there, the amount of bedding that that owner could have potentially put in there, you could have fit a decent amount of bedding in there. It does look like a very small space. So moving on to our next ad, we have here this cute, adorable little gerbil, um, and this ad says, gerbil for rehoming, read description, $20. So it says here, he is five months old, I'm asking $20 for him and his cage. So oh my god, he is so handsome, look at his little coat, what a beautiful color. I've never seen a uh, molt like that on a gerbil, that is absolutely beautiful. So it. So it looks like this gerbil is again in another habit trail. Why? Why are we keeping gerbils in habit trails? The OVO is horrible for any small animal, let alone a gerbil. Um, and the gerbil is alone, which, which is always sad to see because gerbils do belong in pairs or groups. They are a very social mammal, so they do need that other gerbil to rely on um, for their communication. So I took the liberty of checking out the uh, Habitrail OVO Loft Hamster Cage on Amazon. At the time of filming this video, it is going for $79.96. So I couldn't find the product dimensions when assembled on the Amazon listing, so I went ahead and Googled it. Um, so it says here that the assembled product dimensions are 27.6 inches long and 13.2 inches wide. So our next listing is for two male gerbils with change, I think they meant to say cage, two male gerbils with cage and everything, $50 in Windsor, Ontario. So the seller says, hi, I have two male one-year-old gerbils for sale. They come with cage, bedding, a ball, and everything. They are $50 with everything. Please help me find a home ASAP. So unfortunately, this seller didn't include any other photos other than this first one that um, we're looking at here and unfortunately this doesn't paint a very good picture of the type of situation that this that this gerbil is in so it looks like a very very tiny cage um, you can see you can maybe fit two gerbils for the width of the cage it's not very wide at all um, and it just looks dirty and messy and it's just not a great picture so pictures like these this make me really, really sad. I wish that I could take in every single gerbil in the world. I simply am unable to do that at this point in my life. So I really hope that if you see this video and you live in Windsor, Ontario, you go on Kijiji, you search for gerbils, and if you can, please rescue this gerbil. For our next listing, we have um, baby gerbils, $5 from London, Ontario. Uh, so this picture is a little interesting. It looks like the seller put a bunch of gerbils in a cardboard box. Um, this could just be 
due to the fact that baby gerbils are a lot harder to catch and hold still for photos. Um, so maybe they put them all in there so that they could get like one shot of all of them. And the listing says, four baby gerbils up for sale can sell them all at once or one by one. Perfect pets for those who have already had hamsters or even as a first pet. So if you've seen my other video titled, Do Gerbils Make Good Starter Pets? You would know my opinion on that and that I don't recommend people to get gerbils without doing um, at least a quick basic Google search. You really should be researching any pet you get before you go out and get the pet. However, that's not always the case. Gerbils have a lot of care requirements um, and a lot of things that they can and cannot have. So never, ever, ever purchase your gerbils without doing research. It says, colors are black and white and gray can provide pictures if requested. The smaller black and white is male. There are two male and one female of the pure gray. Bigger black and white and gray and white are sold. So it seems like maybe this person had some sort of accidental litter um, and now they're trying to get rid of the babies. Um, and selling gerbils for super cheap like that immediately makes me feel scared. So I always recommend putting a bit of a higher rehoming fee. Um, you can always talk to people through messages and if you feel like they're a genuine person who wants the best for the animals, then um, you could always lower the price like that. But I think it's definitely better to put a higher price point on your actual listing itself. So for our next ad, we have five cute female gerbils from Oshawa, Ontario. Um, my first impression of this photo is that they are on a low quality food type, just looking at the amount of corn and alfalfa pellets that are compressed um, on top of that wooden house that is quite a lot of filler food so it's not the best nutrition for your gerbils um, but let's see what she has to offer so it says here hello I have five female gerbils for sale with a tank if you need I think it's 10 gallons I really hope that she's not keeping five gerbils in a 10 gallon. That would be extremely concerning. Um, that would be about two gallons of space per gerbil, which is, oh my God, that's just ridiculous. And it says here that they're all female. So if you're keeping five female gerbils in a 10 gallon tank, so it says here, I think it's 10 gallons. They are all under one year old. You can upgrade their tank to a 30 gallon. They like to dig and sleep underneath their bedding. I have a black tan and brown color. They are sisters. My son doesn't play with them anymore. Let me know if interested. They are very quiet. Do not put plastic in their tank because they will chew it up. Only wooden stuff, thanks. So I think that's really great that the seller provided some sort of information for people. Like they like quiet um, and not to put plastic in their tank, only give them wooden stuff. So that is good care. They also encourage you to upgrade their tank to a 30 gallon. Um, I recommend a 40 gallon for a pair of gerbils, so for two gerbils. This lady is recommending five gerbils in a 30 gallon, um, which is way too small of a space, especially for five female gerbils. So looking at the photos here, um, oh my god, the gerbils are so cute. It looks like they have nice bedding in there. I think this is Carefresh bedding. Um, so it's cute. As you can see, they've got enough bedding in there that the gerbils are able to somewhat burrow. Um, and it looks like they've got some sort of like wooden thing underneath. Unfortunately, they don't show the entire home, so I'm not able to see um, what the gerbil's full setup looks like. Um, but it does look like they have a treehouse cabin in there. Um, and the gerbils do look really small, so I do believe her when she says that they are under a year. However, I'm just wondering how she ended up with five gerbils. Um, she doesn't really say if they were a litter or how long she's had them for, um, just that her son lost interest, which is another thing that I take issue with. Um, pets, again, are a lifelong commitment, so just because you are bored of them or your kid is bored of them or you don't feel like taking care of them anymore, I don't think people should have that luxury. Once you make a commitment, it's your job to uphold your end of it and to stick through and really give these pets a great life and give them um, everything that they need to be happy and to be healthy. So this next post that we have is for two adorable male gerbils for sale with all the accessories for $100 in Edmonton, Alberta. So I'm just going to go ahead and say right off the bat that this so far looks to be the best setup that I have seen on this video so far. 
I mean, at first glance, the wheel is way too small, um, but everything else looks really, really great. They've got a ton of bedding in there. They've got wooden bendy bridges. They've got hides, although it does look like they have a hamster ball, so that would be a big no-no. Um, and it looks like they have some sort of split cage method going on with a big divider down the middle. Hi, I'm selling our two boys, Sniffles and Cuddles. Oh my god, that's so cute. They're both black with white front paws. Both of them are brothers from the same litter. We acquired them from PetSmart. They were able to live together and snuggle for about two months and then something happened that created them to fight. Unfortunately, I have not been able to integrate them back together again. So they're now divided up with a homemade divider within their tank. Unfortunately, I don't know how to put them back together. I am selling our babies with the tank and their accessories, food and treats, as well as hay for $100 for the whole lot. They must go soon or I will have to drop them off at the SPCA as I can't afford them. And I also found out that gerbils are the wrong pets for us. We will miss them very much as we do love them, but unfortunately we are finding it hard to be the best gerbil parents we can be. Um, so that was a real emotional ad. It was a little upsetting um, and I understand the frustration that this seller must be going through because when your gerbils decline, it's an extremely stressful situation for you and for the gerbils. Um, I really like that the owner is very open about their struggle with the gerbils. It seems that they provided a lot of background and they recognize that the pet is not for them um, after putting in I'm sh what I'm sure is a bunch of work trying to keep and maintain both the gerbils on their own. Um, I am sympathetic for that owner. I think it's great that they recognize the pet's not for them and that they are trying to rehome them. So as you can see here, there are quite a few items that you do get. You see a little gerbil on that stump there. He's so cute. Um, so it looks like they split up the tank. And you can see both the gerbils there. Unfortunately, both of those wheels are too small. Um, but I really hope that the two um, find someone to rescue her gerbils from her and that she didn't have to end up surrendering the animals to the SPCA. So moving on to our next listing, this one says... Gerbil habitat and two male gerbils nine months old. They are asking $175 and they are located in Aurelia, Ontario. Moving and can't take with us. The two male gerbils are very friendly and interactive. It comes with the wheel, exercise ball, swing, toys, water bottle, food container, some leftover bedding and food. The tank is 18 by 36. The stand has caster wheels for easy movement and has a custom fitted wood lid with a wire viewing area from above and removable cover for ease of cleaning. The stand and tank measure 53 inches high from the floor and has lots of storage for accessories, bedding, and food. Asking $175 or best offer, well worth the cost paid more than $250 just for the habitat and stand. So she does have a 40 gallon tank. She mentioned that the measurements were 36 by 18, which is what my 40 gallon tank is. Um, so it is quite a large tank here. However, I don't know why she didn't fill it up with more bedding, considering that you could essentially pile that bedding really, really high up in the 40 gallon. Um, it also looks like that wheel in there is way too small for the gerbils, but they have got some really cool things in there. Um, and oh my gosh, the gerbils are so cute. Look at those little babies. You can tell that they are still quite young gerbils based on that face, um, that cute little baby face. Oh my goodness. Uh, so it looks like they put a lot of thought into some of the items that they put in there. They've got a lot of wooden items in there. Um, it looks like they've got some rocks in there. Fortunately, that plastic yellow tunnel right there would be a big no-no because gerbils will chew that up, no problem. As well as that very, very tiny silent spinner. And then again, we have another hamster ball, which is horrible for hamsters and gerbils. It's just something you should avoid. And then it looks like they got some sort of light going into that tank there, which would be a big no-no as well. So gerbils don't need artificial light and they shouldn't have one. They really should be on some sort of natural day and night sleep cycle. Uh, so all in all, this ad isn't horrible. So now for our last ad. So it says here, gerbils for rehoming pending. And this is in Hamilton, Ontario. They are asking $40. So right off the bat, this picture just looks super concerning. Um, this looks like a really, really small home. I don't understand what type of bedding is in there. I would say there's maybe like half an inch of bedding in there, um, which is super sad. That wheel is also too small. Um, and they have a plastic food dish up top and it is a metal bar cage which unfortunately they haven't laid down any sort of cardboard or like grass mat or hay or bedding if the gerbils walk on that it causes a lot of pressure onto their feet and it can actually result in an injury so let's read over the ad it says here i recently bought these little guys in september 
I fell in love with them, but I've come to realize I have too much on my plate at the moment to be able to take full and proper care of them along with school and work. I decided they would be better with someone who may have a little extra time on their hands. They come with a large cage, two food bowls, two water bottles, a large bag of food, bedding, and burrowing, shredding. They are less than a year old, both females. They love to chew, so the cage does have some flaws, example, a chewed ladder. Other than that, the cage is only about a month old. Contact me if interested. Uh, so looking at this photo here, it's just, oh my god, this is so sad. There is no space in there for the gerbil. Look at that poor gerbil on the bottom. If that gerbil stood up, its head would poke up into the top level. That's how small amount of living space that they do have. And that gerbil on the top is almost able to like fully upstretch and reach the top of that enclosure. Um, so that's really, really sad to see. It looks like they don't have any sort of hide in there, and I'm not sure what type of bedding that is. Um, if it's aspen or pine, it looks like this seller has done no research on gerbils whatsoever, so I wouldn't be surprised if that is pine bedding. Um, and this, this one is just really, really sad to see. This just absolutely breaks my heart. Um, this is the reason why I am making my YouTube channel and why the gerbils and I are trying to put out good content on YouTube so that people are able to find our videos and realize that stuff like this isn't okay and that this isn't how gerbils should be living. So unfortunately there were a lot of upsetting ads out there, um, ones that I didn't agree with. Um, I wish that I could clone myself, move to all of those cities, get a job, rent an apartment, and just rescue all of the gerbils in those cities. But hopefully drawing awareness to the fact that there are gerbils on Kijiji um, will help some people that do live in those cities. Hopefully it may make you think of the gerbils and if you are thinking about getting gerbils, I would recommend looking on Kijiji just because there might be some gerbils that you're able to rescue from um, really bad situations. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed part one of the mini series reacting to gerbils on Kijiji. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and burrow down below to leave me a comment and let me know what you guys thought of today's video. Thank you. Bye.